Greetings people, it's Paul coming at you from Greenshire Homestead. I uh, wanted to talk to you today um, about my firewood and about my starter wood. Firewood is the wood I, I burn for the fire. The starter wood yonder is uh, what I start the fire with. And I, I want to talk a little bit about how I, how I size my firewood, how I size my starter wood, and then how much wood I, I put in the stove at a given time. Um, I, I, I have a uh, Woodstock soapstone. I'll do it be. I'll have a video out on that too. But um, that is not Grandpa's old potbelly stove, and it's not not a situation where you just load it up with a bunch of wood and then let it burn. I mean, ultimately, that is what we're doing. We're putting wood in and letting it burn. But um, today's catalytic burning stoves burn very efficiently, and uh, I've, it's just got a 1.4 cubic foot firebox, which is small. That's the one I have. That stove is designed for burning, uh, heating a 1,200 square foot house, which is what we have. It's our retirement home. It's, it's fairly small. So I'm going to burn wood in that, that stove that's a lot smaller than what a lot of you are used to seeing people do on TV and, and, and other things and uh, what has been done in the past. And people just seem to think that burning larger wood and putting a lot of it in the stove is normal. And I'm going to tell you it's not. So uh, I'm going to get the camera and zoom in a little here on uh, the size of my, my wood. <clears throat> Put my hand in here as a reference. Um, you see that this, this wood is, is really, it's, it's pretty small in size in comparison to what you're, you're going to be used to seeing. Um, in many cases, you're going to probably be used to seeing something about that size being considered a piece of wood that you would put in the stove and then guys are going to put three or four of those in a wood stove bad plan it's not going to burn efficiently you're going to choke your stove um, you're going to build up more creosote there's going to be a lot of problems associated with that i'm going to put a piece this size and a piece this size in my wood stove at one time and i'm going to build them in a cross pattern like that so there's plenty of surface area for the flames to hit they're going to burn efficiently they're going to burn hotter and they're going to burn more completely. Um, over here, as I, I mentioned, I have my starter logs. <clears throat> the starter logs are even substantially smaller than, than the fire logs. I will use six of these combined with um, a handful of kindling. And I, I use the kindling and these starter logs to get the fire started. And then once the fire is burning well, and this is really begun to burn down to uh, where the flames are much smaller uh, it's it's more of a smoldering fire then I'll come back and I'll add my, um, my my fire logs I put two in at a time and six pieces of wood this size right here will get the house to 80 degrees and that sounds crazy putting them in at two at a time but just six pieces now that's given that the temperature Outside is somewhere between freezing and say 25 low 30s to 25 degrees and assuming that the house was about 69 degrees When I started my fire, which it generally is because I'll start a fire in the morning and um, Get get the house warmed up to about 80 degrees and then that the house is warmed up to about 80 degrees sometime between you know 930 or 10 and then because my stove is made of stone uh, the stove stays hot for an extended period of time and then as the temperature starts to come back down uh, Toward the evening around 630 or so I will get you know The house is going to be around 69 70 degrees. I'll get another fire started and begin the process over again So so 12 pieces of wood in a 24-hour period are going to keep my house about 80 degrees <clears throat> Over here uh, You can see that's where I've got my, my split wood, those three sections of wood right there. Uh, I keep a year's worth of wood split at, at all times. That way, if uh, I get sick or get injured or die or something, um, we've already got wood split because we, I do split all wood by hand. I don't have a wood splitter. I don't expect I ever will. Um, I'll be 90 years old and still splitting wood with an ax if I live that long, which I hope I don't. Um, the... Uh, but I keep that there just in case I get hurt that way, and I can't split the wood 
or you know like I said if I'm gone my wife has plenty of wood on hand she can make it through an entire winter and then that gives her the next spring summer and fall to, to uh, make arrangements for somebody to split the wood for her, you know if she were to choose to stay here and not sell the place so the middle section there is what we've been burning since uh, about the second week of October and you can see there that over the two about two and a half months we've only gone through not even that whole middle section there that and that will definitely last into the second week of January between what we have there and stacked by the back door right now so so going into mid-January we'll be starting one of those other sections there so by April there is no way we're going to go through all that wood uh, that wood there is about two two and a half years old that's why we're burning it now and then as I uh, replace as I take that wood out and completely use up a section I'll be starting to split new wood to uh, put in each section so when that middle section is gone I'll start splitting wood and putting in there there in the middle section and that'll then be the wood we'll burn next year so I, I that's how I rotate it <clears throat> so um, 24 hour period, six pieces of wood, as long as the, like I said, the temperature is above 25. If it gets down below 25, probably going to burn another two to four pieces. And then if it gets down below 15, probably another two, four, two to four pieces on top of that. So it just, it depends on what the temperature is outside, but we're, we're going through very little wood. Um, and uh, the, the wood that we are using, we're burning very efficiently. So this is Paul signing off at Greenshire Homestead, talking about firewood. You have a great rest of your uh, week. Hope you have a great rest of your day too. We'll see you next time at Greenshire Homestead. Thank you.